Hello everyone, this is Lloyd from BISFO uh, with a short tutorial on your loyalty uh, gift card loading. So just a quick wrap on going to our program options, just how to set up your loyalty. What you would like to do is go to integrations. On your loyalty, you would go to your uh, BISFO loyalty tab and then what you would do is sign into your Hive. Uh, top right, you want to go to your little little man, as I call him. I want to go to my integrations. I'm going to go to Bisfo Loyalty. I'm going to select the branch, the specific one. I'm working on branch two. And then all you do is you, you copy this uh, code. And then what you do is you paste it in here. And then once done, you can do a test. And I've just entered a number. So depending on, on the number you get um, or enter, you'll get the corresponding code. Now, where does this come from? Still on your hive, if you want to go back to your loyalty. Uh, I'm just going to click on search. So there's a whole bunch of loyalty numbers over here. I'm just going to type in this one, 0828780505. So this is a loyalty card number. And we can see this is sitting with a balance and this is the one we retrieved. So on this side, if you wanted to add a loyalty number to test, you can simply click on your add button, select your type, go for gift card or voucher. Um, loyalty points is on request. We could do loyalty points as well, but just let us know what we um, what the setup is there. But typically a gift card and a voucher. Um, and then you can enter any voucher code. And But I'll show you how to do it through the point of sale as part of this exercise, how to load this bit. Um, just on a transactional level, um, I can then go 0828080505, refresh. Sorry. Here we go. So this is the card ledger. This is how we are redeeming and loading. And this is the card history, um, what is happening on the specific card. So let's have a look. Um, this is the current balance before balance. And let me start my tests. Okay, so loyalty is all set up. Maybe just another point um, on your access level. Uh, there is a gift card load that you want to switch on for your users. So if you get a, a password prompt and nothing's happening, by default, this is disabled. Um, so you will have to set this for your specific user and you would just go uh, save access uh, first view then save access remember that one enough of the setup let's have a look so traditionally um, in our system we do have the option to load the gift card as part of the point of sale but the problem with this gift card is it's actually increasing your sales value which it should not do um, seeing that you are loading a gift card is creating a liability so we will leave this function here. Um, we'll either change it or take it away shortly. Um, but I want to show you the, the, the correct way to do it. Now the correct way is also defined as how do we figure out what the ledger show and how do we see what was loaded um, through our accounting side. You'll notice that this is usually our payout button. It now says payout or gift card load. I'm going to click on this one. I've got two options over here. It's payout or load gift cards. Let's go load gift cards. And this is the password prompt. And then what I'm going to do is 0828780505. I'm going to enter the loyalty gift card number. And this could be any number. Um, for interest sake, this is one that I'm loading, right? So it's existing. So I can load a certain amount. Or you can go and say, I want a new gift card. Um, scan your local gift card or your voucher or a predefined number or just use the number that the system is giving to you. And there you go. It's, say, it's saying a valuable balance is zero, and this is the gift card. So I'm just going to do 0828780505. And let's see, 379, let's make it a round number. So I'm going to go I'm going to go ahead and load 21 uh, Rand. OK, perfect. I've just clicked the Add button. Now I've got two options, my cash or card. And in this case, what we're going to do is we definitely want to put it on the card. Um, for this example, and I'm going to click on pay. Now, what's going to happen now, it, it, um, it's already done the loyalty checkup. It's confirmed the, the numbers, and it is now printing out a little slip for me. Just to show you on screen what this little slip looks like, 
Um, it is just the fact that we've received money on the specific date, um, what it was for and the tender type and the actual reference and the gift card. Next what I want to show you is I'm switching back to my hive. I'm going to click on this little refresh button and what we can see is here's the load amount um, and we can see the new balance. Let's go to card history and there we go. We can see um, some of the activity and the current balance on the specific card. This is going to stay on the ledger. Now let's see what this actual impact was of loading this via the point of sale. Now let's go over to the ledger. Let's see the impact um, on the reporting side. Uh, on the left hand side on the accounting, there's two spots I want to show you. So on the reporting side, just remember I'm working on branch two. On the financial side, the balance sheet, I'm going to click refresh. And we'll notice that we've got a current asset and we've got a liability. So by default, the voucher loads are a liability. So that's in our credit column and um, this voucher arrived through the credit card and that's the 21 Rand and we can see it's all balancing. The other way to have a look, um, maybe just as a quick tip, we can go to our summary. We can see a bit more detail and on our um, inquiry screen we can go to voucher load and we can also see a bit more detail uh, about the specific voucher. Then I want to show you this as well on the cash up. We've got our cash up journals. So this is typically what you export or you can maybe get more information with regards to journals you want to write. This is your voucher load for the specific period and um, this was based on the credit card. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what um, just do a sale and what that looks like as well um, as our final step. So go back to my point of sale. I'm going to do a uh, card sale and let's just select this random item. I'm going to do this one on voucher. So there's two ways. I can either click here first or go to gift voucher. And um, I've got 400 available. That is correct. I'm going to load the total amount. I could use a smaller or lesser amount. Doesn't matter. I'm going to say add and then I'm going to click on pay. So that's it. So that um, sale is done. Let's just go over to the Hive again and see what the impact um, of that is. So on the Hive side, um, let's just stay here. I'm going to click Refresh and we can see our ledger is updated. So let's just see if we can make uh, sense of it. We've got a voucher sale. So maybe the two things that you want to have a look at is your voucher loads for this period was 21 and you actually had a voucher sale. Um, and then your basic... Um, general information of the specific cash up. Let's just quickly have a look on the reporting side. What that looks like. Uh, go back to accounting. Let's go back to reports. Um, I like the specific view. Note there's no setup required. but so just displays this information by default. So there's no accounting setup uh, required. So you'll notice balance sheet. We've got a profit and loss item. We're not focused on that, but this is correct. This is what has come in. And now our balance sheet looks a little bit different. So on the liability side, we've still got our voucher load, correct, our VAT. And then we can see our current assets. Um, that has decreased on the stock level. And we've got a credit card. Um, and then we have our voucher sale, which is uh, quite important. So basically, if you take this voucher sale and offset it to um, your input value, that is where you will get to um, find the difference. Um, maybe just lastly, let's have a look what the summary looks like. Um, there we got our voucher load. There we go. We can offset those two amounts. And on the inquiry side, we can have a look what the voucher load looks like. That's from the voucher's perspective. And this is from the voucher load. So that's just a different way of um, looking at it. Let's just see if we can look at uh, liabilities, um, balance sheet. Okay, so there we can at least see um, that group together. So guys, um, let's just do a quick recap of our point of sale. So just to recap, uh, do your gift card loads over here. 
the other button will be depreciated or changed quite significantly in the short term. Um, this update is live, so click on your load gift card button. Simply select, uh, create a new one, select or enter your um, returning customer's number. A slip will be printed. Um, and then, oh, before I forget, what's the impact on your cash up side? Uh, on the cash up, uh, remember we did the, the debit card, we did the load of the gift card, and we did the redeem of the voucher. And you'll notice on the right hand side, we've got a little voucher um, that's sitting over there. I can reprint this, so be careful. Whoever's got access to this can reprint um, that specific voucher if something went wrong. And um, our money count is quite an important one because on this side we can now see that we've got a credit card um, that has come in. The orange block is stating I should um, enter this amount. I'm just going to click the save for the refresh. And basically what the system is telling me is that um, we are balancing. So just a, a, a recap, this is based on tender. So this is getting to our actual turnover and this is based on um, actual external transactions that has taken place. So see them as liabilities. It could be any inner or cash flow in and out. Um, and that's why the tender total is only focusing on this because if you look at uh, the true turnover, it is 25 bucks. So once you're done already, I'm just going to go to the preview. You can close the shift as normal. Um, and looking at this, you'll get this email to you, and there you can see receive your card voucher. Um, it's saying payouts uh, will change this for confusion, but it's just going through the payout screen so you can see what the actual voucher is. Awesome, guys. So that's the impact on your, on your shift. Um, yeah, quite nifty, dandy, um, all integrated. All you have to do is just set your um, key, and you can create, uh, use your loyalty out of the box. Any questions, please feel free to uh, make suggestions or chat to your support team. They'll gladly assist.